They were always fun to be around. He adored Buddy Epson and always wanted Buddy Epson to be Jed because Jed had to be this sort of gentle uh, nobleman, you know? Didn't matter that he lived in the Ozarks. And Jed, throughout all nine years of the show, never really changed who he was. He didn't go off on all of these silly fads like Jethro did, or even Ellie Mae sometimes, or Granny. He remained true to who he was. And so, um, Daddy really enjoyed uh, working with these people. He adored Nancy Culp. She was a good friend, and she had done the Bob Cummings show, which was uh, another show that he created and wrote in the 50s. And uh, Nancy Culp played a character on that, Pamela Livingston, who was a bird watcher. And she was hysterical on that, and so he knew he wanted her. He wasn't sure who he wanted for Granny. He thought about B. Benaderet, but she wasn't really right for it. And Irene Ryan heard about it, and she came to his office dressed like Granny. And I'll tell you, she convinced him. And of course, if you've ever seen the show, she was absolutely ideal. She was perfect. And she was an old vaudevillian. She and her brother, or I guess it was her husband, Tim Ryan, Tim and Irene Ryan, did a lot of vaudeville. So she was a real performer, a real trooper, and a pro. Liked her a lot. And Donna was a very dear, sweet girl who would work with just about any animal they brought to her. And I got to hand it to her.